Hey, hello, Bio2. This is Mr. B. We're continuing on with Chapter 24, Section 1, looking at reproduction with cones and flowers. And today, the question that this video is going to ask is, what are the reproductive structures of angiosperms? And as we all should know, that the angiosperms are the flowering plants, so that means that our reproductive structures are going to be flowers. So today, we're going to take a look at the structure of a flower. And the flowers, just a quick um, introduction, they're the reproductive organs, which I just said, and they're composed of four kinds of specialized leaves. So this is going to be important, that the flower is actually made up of four kinds of specialized leaves, and they're known as sepals, petals, stamens, and carpels. And so we're going to take a look at each one of those in depth, and we're going to take a look at some other parts of the flower as well. So our first structure that we're going to take a look at is the sepal. So you can see that we have our big pink petals here, which is what we usually see. And right down here below is the sepal. And these enclose the bud before it opens and protect the flower while it is developing. <clears throat> so the function of the sepal, as you can see, it would be like closed up around the bud before the flower blooms. But now it's kind of just fallen over and it's open there. So the sepal is our first structure. And then our next structure is the most obvious one, is the petals. And these are often brightly colored and are found just inside the sepals. So we have our petals up here. Again, this is the most obvious one. We all recognize these. And their petals, their function are to attract insects and other pollinators to the flower. So a lot of times, pollinators, being like bees and things like that, are going to be attracted to the bright colors. And so that's what the main function of the petals are, is just to bring in those pollinators. Then our next structure, so we have so far we have sepals and petals. So our next part is the male reproductive part of the flower, and it consists of an anther and a filament, which together they make up the stamen. So we can see here our long little skinny piece right here is the filament, and on top we have the anther. And so we have filament plus anther equals stamen. And so we're going to get a look at what the filament and anther do uh, just by themselves. So the anther is the oval sac where meiosis takes place producing pollen grains. So this little tip right here, remember meiosis is producing uh, haploid sex cells and that is what's going to happen right here on the tip in the anther and in the flower the sex cells are in pollen grains. So that's our first one, that's the function of the anther. The next part is the filament. This is a long thin stalk that simply just supports the anther. So that doesn't really have any function other than to hold this anther up so meiosis can take place, so pollen can be produced, and then the pollen can be dispersed out. So far, just a quick review, we have petals, we have sepals, which are right below the petals, we have the stamen, makes up the anther and the filament, we have the anther, and we have the filament. And so our next structure is the, innermo the innermost part, and this is the carpal, so this whole big thing right here is called the carpal and this and another name I guess is a pistil p-i-s-t-i-l and this is going to produce our female gametophyte so this is our female stage right here in the middle so we have one two three four five it looks like in this picture of the male with the anther and the filaments and then right in the middle we have our carpal or pistil which is made up of a stigma a style and an ovary and so then we're going to break down what each one of these are. So each carpal has a broad base forming an ovary, and the ovary contains one or more ovules where female gametophytes are produced. Are, are produced. So right here at our base, we have the ovary and we have our ovule, and it's just going to be where our female gametophyte is produced. And then we have our next, the narrow stalk of the carpal is the style. So right here, this narrow stalk right here, it's going to support our top structure there, the stigma. And then the top of the style is the stigma. And this is the sticky portion where pollen grains frequently land. So this stigma is pretty important because it is going to be what helps our flower actually catch our pollen so they can reproduce and form new plants. So we'll go back over that again. I know this is just going to be a lot of memorization probably. So we have making up our entire carpal, our middle section, that is the female gametophyte. We have stigma, the top sticky part, stigma is sticky, the style, which is just for support, and then our ovary, which makes our female gametophytes, and within the ovary, we have an ovule. 
and so that is all of our structures there and, and again here they all are again again the far left we have our stamen which is our anther and our filament which is our male reproductive parts then going in the middle that long base we have the stigma style and ovary which make up the carpal and then we have an ovule within the ovary and another name for the carpal is the pistil and then we have pe petals which are big brightly colored parts that are going to attract pollinators and then our sepals which their job is more important early on because they protect the bud and then once the bud kind of opens up they just fall down below the plant and so that's our structure and just one last note to end on here a typical flower produces both male and female gametophytes again male being the stamen anther and filament the female being the stigma style and ovary and in some plants the male and female gametophytes are produced in separate flowers on the same individual so this is an instance where male and female are produced all in one flower but there are some cases where we'll have another pink flower let's say over here off the screen and we'll take out our anther and our filament and our stamen and then they will be on this flower and we'd only have the female here and male over there but that just kind of comes <clears throat> again just depends on the plant so that's it for this video let me know if you have any questions